Welcome to episode 4 of our Tui Isla River Cruise vlog series. In this episode we explore three very different places in Austria, starting with the capital Vienna. Two exciting things are happening today. We've arrived in Vienna and um, our YouTube channel has just hit 2 million views. How exciting is that, Paulie? Is this going to start crying then? No. So anyway, so we're going to grab some breakfast, uh, go meet the tour. We've got to meet at the observatory lounge at quarter past eight and we're off. Yes. Woohoo. So happy days. So let's go um, and all explore Vienna. Let's do what? Let's go and explore Vienna. Of course, we were going to um, explore the sailing because somebody set the alarm for five o'clock and guess, and you won't guess it, it wasn't me. I was I know sleeping with people sitting there. <laughs> Turn the alarm off. I don't even think she woke up and didn't reset the alarm. No. So, Mr. No Morning Person has saved the day mm. by waking up in time. What have you got to save yourself? Yes, that's right. <laughs> anyway, let's go and explore Vienna. <laughs> Right then, so we are back from our city tour of Vienna. God, that was like, we're back. Was it? Yeah, is it because we're in the birthplace of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, I never thought of that. Did you know that? I did know that. Well, I didn't know that, I just made it up. He's Austrian. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know. But I don't know if he's from Vienna. <laughs> Do let us know in the comments below. <laughs> But anyway, we've just had a four hour tour, um, a city tour of Vienna and oh my God, it is one stunning place, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah very, very, um, or just beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's a thing of beauty. Yes. <laughs> but let's start with um, where we had to meet. We met in the observatory lounge and we went to the coach and the guides that we had today were just fabulous, weren't yeah. they? Some, we some of us met in the observatory lounge. Some people, I mean, there was this one idiot that he didn't know where he was supposed to meet anybody and he just went running out to get on the coach and then his wife shouted at him and oh, made, him look, made him look really silly. It was all a bit of a rush, as you can see, what we explained earlier that um, I got the alarm thing wrong. So it was all a bit of a rush. Anyway, we, we got on the coach and we remembered to take our Vox box. Now Paul's going to demonstrate um, With your own Voxy the Vox box. box. Let me show you, I feel like an air steward Aston. You just pop that around your neck, you yeah. turn it on with a blue button, and then you'll have two channels. And we had two groups on our yeah. on our coach. So you just they'll tell you what channel to put it on, pop this in your ear. Yeah. And as soon as your guide's talking, you'll hear exactly what's going and on. And it worked really well, didn't it? Did, it? Yeah. We were yeah. on the coach for about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, half, half an, an hour, hour yeah. not, not a long time. No, um, which but took us all the time, sorry to interrupt you, but I'm not. Um Commentary. One, one of your two tour guides just use it. you don't have to have your Vox thing plugged in no. this microphone. Um, they're telling you facts all yeah. about the buildings as you're going in. You go past the oldest amusement park in the world, and then all the various different buildings and what they were inspired by. So we're back on Ring Avenue on the right. There you can see a gentleman sitting quite comfortably in his armchair. This is good, a German-speaking poet. Looks like he had too much cake. <laughs> Mozart was not Austrian, but he spent the last 10 years yeah. of his life here, died here, is buried here. To the right part of the imperial palace we did not see on the walk. On the left there you have the two big museums, the Museum of Fine Arts, and in front of us on the left the Museum of Natural History. Look to the left ladies and gentlemen, this is I think the most beautiful building on Ring Avenue, left hand side. This is the town hall. The city hall where the mayor of Vienna has his office. <laughs> Typical Viennese cafe here mm. on the right, Landsmann. This was also the favorite place of Sigmund Freud. He lived here in this area. He enjoyed his little. We got to our first stop, which was Baudu Palace. Exactly. So, um, and that was beautiful. In fact the Belvedere is an historic building complex in Vienna consisting of two Baroque palaces. It was the summer residence of Prince Eugene of Savoy, with the construction starting of the Upper Belvedere in 1717. The garden has scenery enclosed by clipped hedgings and graveled walkways. And if you think they look familiar, it's because they were designed by Dominic Gerard, who first trained as a gardener at Versailles 
under the tutorage of André Le Notre. The grounds of the Belvedere are free to enter and have been open to the public since 1780. However, if you do want to go inside the palace, it does come at an additional cost. So after spending uh, time at Belvedere, we were back on the coach and um, Mickey, the driver, um, dropped us off by the Opera House, wasn't it? And then we all walked all the way through to St Stephen's uh, Cathedral. So let's show you um, just some of the views that we had today, which are absolutely beautiful. Spectacular, yes. Mm. Another popular tourist attraction in Vienna is the Spanish Riding School. The Riding School was named during the Habsburg Monarchy of 1572, but it wasn't until 1729 when Emperor Charles VI commissioned the architecture that we see today. The school is dedicated to the preservation of classical dressage and the training of Lipizzaner horses. The school holds 72 stallions and 19 members of the equestrian team. New cadets at the school are called Eleves. It takes 8 to 12 years of training and only after this time they are given the title of rider and are allowed to perform for the public. After reaching St Stephen's Cathedral, we were going to give us some free time, weren't we, 40 yeah. minutes? Um, so we had a quick look inside, didn't we, the cathedral, which is absolutely stunning. Um, we got one at home, the Gloucester, haven't we? And we're, we think that's... Yeah, ours, pretty, ours is pretty good. Yes. So after going to the cathedral, we thought, oh, I'd like to have a look for a little souvenir that I put by the telly. And we had a quick look at a couple of souvenir shop, but nothing that caught my eye. Um, but we did... What did catch our eye was a cake shop. A cake shop. <laughs> I know. So we thought, oh, we best go in there. It was called Ida. Um, and this is what uh, Paulie Morgan bought. So we've just spotted a, a patisserie bakery. And Paulie, we're in Vienna. We thought, oh, apple strudel. Come over here. Yeah, I don't want to drop it on the floor when I pull it out of the bag. Like so look, this, this cost us two euros ninety. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Let me have that bag a minute. And pop it in your pocket. Go on. Don't drop it. <laughs> His first awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that good? It's still warm. Is it still warm? Oh, lovely. I don't think it's like that. No. So after demolishing the apple strudel, you wouldn't see the mess that Paul got in. Thankfully, I had bet, um, I tissues was, in my bag. I bet there was like a... Um, I should um, have taken um, a photo of him. He was like a three-year-old covered in cake. Sorry. I bet there was a big <laughs> pigeon fight after that. Yes. The crumbs on the yes. Floor. So one advice is if you're going to have cake or apple strudel in Vienna, I would go to a sit-down cafe and have a plate. <laughs> But anyway, it was delicious, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. So uh, we then had to walk back to the coach, and we did walk back a different way, which was lovely, wasn't it? We walked back a different way, and um, you can make of this statement what you will, but some of the most beautiful architecture, you know, very interesting talks about the history, you know, about yeah. Strauss and the Danube and all that sort of stuff. What's Carol's big takeaway from today? What's the fact that sticks in her mind? There was a stall that sewed 15 different types of sausages. Yes. And that's what got her the most excited. <laughs> and we seen a wiener stall, didn't we? <laughs> Which did make us laugh, but that's, then we're easily pleased. That's sausages, honey. Is, that's it, sausages. is that a sausage? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 
But that was a different place. <laughs> yes, I know, but they're, they're not just one sausage store in the whole of bloody Vienna. Anyway, <laughs> on the way back, the lady did say um, that this is the best one. So there's a sausage one. I'll put a picture. I did take the picture of the back of it. Um, it's the way you get the best sausage in Vienna. The best one. And Carol likes... You like a sausage, don't you? I do like a sausage, yeah. but um, we didn't have time to have one, yeah. did we? You didn't have time to have a sausage off a of Viennese man, did you? I didn't. <laughs> so, there we are. So, we've had a fantastic day, haven't we? Yeah. Um, right then. So, we've literally just come back from uh, dinner. We have, but for the first time, before we went to dinner, the weather has been sufficiently nice. We, the weather hasn't been bad, but there's always been that chilly wind. Yeah. And tonight, we sat up on top of the ship, enjoyed the top a drink, deck. top deck, Looking out over New Vienna. Yes, I'm watching. There's so many river cruise ships here. We um, were watching them sail by, weren't we? Were, we were, and it was lovely. Sadly, the sun didn't last too long. No, but it was still, <laughs> yeah, still it was nice lovely. to be out there. And so we popped back down to the observatory lounge. Yep. Simon was doing his port talk for tomorrow. Yes. We haven't got any excursions booked, but there's a lot of stuff. Two ports well, tomorrow. Well, two ports tomorrow. Yeah. One in the morning, obviously, one but in the afternoon. A lot of stuff. Weisenkirchen. 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 And milk. I could say that. Milk. Silly four letters. <laughs> yeah. oh. So, um, yeah, so that was interesting to find out. You're docked so centrally, aren't you, on yeah. cruise ships? You haven't got to worry about taxi rides or um, being miles away. No. And apparently tomorrow both both uh, ports are. I've got easy access. Yeah, you little Austrian, Austrian town. So that'd be yeah. interesting to go yeah. and have a look around those. But anyway, back to dinner. Um, we've just had um, a wiener schnitzel. Why do I laugh with the wiener? <laughs> because you're very, very childish. <laughs> but to start... We had Austrian beef mm, soup. And it was like a very consommé, wasn't it? A beef consommé yeah. um, that was just so beefy. <laughs> it was lovely. Beefy. It was like... Beefy. A, oh, it was lovely. Mr. Beef. <laughs> and then we had um, our wiener schnitzel. <laughs> which was delicious, wasn't it, Paulie? I don't know what you find funny about it. Really. I don't. Which was delicious, <laughs> and then we mm. both had tiramisu, which, which was, was also, also delicious. delicious. And then Paulie had his cheese plate. To, to, to keep with um, tradition, I had a cheese plate. Mm. Um, one of my favourites, I think, tonight, because there was some goat's cheese, which was really, really nice. I you have got to some say. in your eyebrow. Oh, what goat's cheese? I don't know. <laughs> Fluff. <laughs> okay. So uh, yes, um, couldn't fault yeah, it. Couldn't fault tasty. it. Again. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. And now, Carol's burnt right out. I am really but tired. Today. She got big hobbit feet from walking around today. <laughs> big hobbit I mean, we feet. would show you on camera, but I don't think no. we would get the whole of her foot in, to be honest, unless we had a wide angle lens. <laughs> yes. So we're going to go some... back to the observatory lounge and we're going to. Um, I think Carol's going to enjoy a drink, go to bed, and I'm going to enjoy a drink and maybe not go to bed. <laughs> so we'll see. So, yeah, so let's see what so the rest of the evening Stay tuned brings. for our next bulletin. <laughs> bulletin? Is that what this is? <laughs> oh. Because we're 24 hour party people, what actually happened was we had one drink and was in bed by 9 15. However, our early night was disturbed by some strange noises in the middle of the night, which we'll talk about in a minute. We've arrived in Messy Kitchen. Messy Kitchen? <laughs> Ah, Paul can pronounce it properly. It's a bit chilly. I'm not sure where we are. Are we at Weissenkirchen? I think that's it. Yes. So we're going to get off. We're only here for a few hours. Um, the weather's, as you can see by Paul's woolly hat, it's gone a little bit inclement, hasn't it? I'm still intrigued by we're at Messy Kitchen. <laughs> Didn't realise we were back then. Ah. We've been. So here we are in the Danube Valley, in the Vale of Waku. So let's go and have a mooch. We've only got about an hour or so, haven't we? So um, yeah, this way looks favourite. Favourite. We were hoping we we're sailing to Melk later today, and we were hoping to be able to sit up on the deck, as you can see there. Um, There's plenty of spare seats. There's plenty of spare seats. Yeah. But it doesn't look likely. Yeah. 
Life on the river's been great, hasn't it, Paulie? Yeah, no, As you'll have seen from our video this morning, when we woke up to that, that was a bit eerie, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a bit well, strange. I, should, I, should hear, I woke up before you, which you'll be horrified to know, but I was too lazy to do anything about that. <laughs> and I could hear this, like, bubbling. And it was almost like, um... Well, it was bubbling. And I yes. couldn't really... I, I, I couldn't... I thought, well, should I get up and investigate? And then I realised that I really couldn't be bothered. <laughs> and I thought, well, if we are sinking, <laughs> there's a couple of decks below us, they'll panic before us, and then we can get up. But, <laughs> but Carol's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you can't wait to see something to find out what it is. I'm excited. Uh, well, We're excited about bubbling noise. Yeah. No, I was just thinking, what on earth's going on? The bubbling noises turned out to be us entering a lock at five o'clock in the morning. Fison Kirken, or as some tourists call it, Messy Kitchen, is in the Wachu Valley, in the district of Kremsland, which is in the Austrian state of Lower Austria. The population of Weissen Kirken has been steadily declining over the last 50 years, and there is now just 1,500 inhabitants. Named after the large church that dominates the town, Weissen Kirken translates as White Church. The town began in the 9th century as a monastic vineyard and is still known today for its excellent wines. So here's a little look around. We had a lovely walk around Weissenkirchen, with the highlights, well especially for Carol, being a wine vending machine, and then we headed back to the ship. Right so we've had a lovely morning in... Um... Bison Kirken. Go on, yes. you can do it. Bison Kirken. What I've enjoyed is it's a total contrast from Vienna. You do a, you do quite a really busy city, and now you're right out in the countryside yeah. and in some lovely little towns. We've literally just arrived in Melk, actually. We've got two ports of call today. So it's been lovely, hasn't it? Just floating down the river, watching the beautiful scenery. So Um, but we came back on, didn't we? Had lunch. Yeah, on for lunch. 
It's all we seem to do is eat and sleep. Well, it's sort of like eat, sleep, repeat. walk. <laughs> walk, yeah. Walk, so we've walked loads, yeah. but it's, it's fabulous. We've only done two miles today, so that was quite nice. But, mm. yeah, back what we did before lunch, actually, we found some lovely little areas on the ship where you can just sit and just look out the window. Because mm. we haven't had... I know it sounds daft because we're on a river cruise, but we haven't actually had a lot of time to sit and just watch the world go by. So today's probably been the best day for it. Yeah, because you so, travel a lot at night. Yeah, um, so, so you don't get... Um, you know, what we'd have liked is the weather to be a bit better so we could sit up on top. Yeah. And I think we'd spend hours up there. But yeah, we nonetheless, we've still got some lovely... Um, uh, countryside we've been sailing past and then we had a, a coffee and then we had a, a a small beer and then it was time for lunch it was and in the vidastro as usual and again another great lunch, another great lunch. we start off with lentil soup they are without doubt the masters of soup making yeah fantastic soups um and then we had chicken cordon bleu we did. Which was very good. And we just finished off, there was apple fritters, but we decided just to have some ice cream, yes. didn't we? Um, which came out actually with some vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce and yes. pistachios. And it was lovely. Mm. Paul mentioned that we've been just sort of, sort of watching the world go by on the ship. We're going to be doing a full ship tour. Um, so I'll put a link in here when we, we've yeah. done that. Because um, it's, it won't take us long, because there's only four decks in there. Um, yes. So we will be showing you around the complete ship as well, um, as we have been doing in these vlogs anyway. Yeah. But, um, but we will do a separate one because lots of people ask that oh you, can you do a separate ship tour don't normally but i think we will this yeah, we time will this right so we've just arrived in melk in austria which is our second port of the day it is busy busy today yeah so we've been up on deck um and watching it was fascinating wasn't it watching the captain um and his crew get us all tied up alongside um so we'll show you how that went here So it's a bit of a walk um, into Melk by the looks. Paul is grumpy. We've been walking now for uh, 45 minutes. We have been walking for a bit, bit 10, but it's very pretty. Look at all the woodland. Lots of bird activity. Could you, you actually point that at the wood then? But it... I'm going to do a spinny round. <laughs> ah, not too fast. Oh dear. So um, we're not sure whether we're going the right way or not, to be quite honest. But we just spoke to two men on a bench who um, we couldn't really speak the same language, but we got this general feeling that it's yeah. it's this way. So uh, we'll see. Paul is trying to get the shot. Ah, but this is 11th century Melk Abbey. So overlooking the old town, which is just here. So we're going to have a mooch around for a, a little while before we'll have to rush back for um, gala night. Even though Malk is dominated by the Abbey, the town itself is incredibly picturesque and we would happily have spent a lot more time exploring here. Full of shops, restaurants and bars, this vibrant little town is definitely worth a visit. The Abbey was founded in 1089 when Leopold II gave one of his castles to Benedictine monks. Today's Baroque Abbey was built in 1702 it houses the remains of several members of the House of Babenberg, Austria's first ruling dynasty. So we found Melk and what a beauty in it, Paulie. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. That's, that's where we've just been. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we've just been. Yes. One day I'll get used to this. Yeah, we there just, we are. <laughs> we haven't just been to our own faces. Yes. We've been, oh. So we've got to get back because it's nearly six o'clock and we'll meet the captain and formal night, well it's called gala night as uh, we explained earlier. So uh, we're going to head back now aren't we Paulie, do you want to get in shot? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to head back now. <laughs> yeah, so um, Melk, I uh, wish we had a uh, longer here 
because um, it's been a busy day. We've been doing a lot of filming today on board, which has been great to get some more content. But um, so we did get a chance to get off early. But um, if we ever come to back to Malk, I wouldn't be disappointed, would you, Paulie? No, not at all. Beautiful. Not anyway, come on, Paulie, we've got to go. Quick, quick. But we're we're having a fantastic time. We are. And. Um, who knows? Well, tonight's gala night. Well, tonight's gala night. So if we can manage to stay awake, because we've been, we've heard off a fellow passenger that it's seven courses. Mm. So. Um, and Simon's entertaining us tonight. Yes. So yeah. So just to let you know, gala night. Um, you don't have to participate. Um, apparently, we haven't seen it well. And we'll show you ourselves. We've sort of semi gone posh, haven't we? We've just got you've got a shirt and jacket. I've just got a, a blouse and, and trousers. We haven't put the full on yeah. dress and. I'm just um, wearing a suit, a, a suit jacket and a shirt, but I'm going like um, Donald Duck, so I'm not going to wear anything <laughs> at all on the bottom. So oh. we'll just we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but apparently, according to fellow passengers, you, some people dress up with a dicky bow and everything, but it's up tied up to you. And that's yeah. what we love about this cruise. It's very chilled, isn't yes. it? We're so relaxed. Join us in our final episode, where we show you exactly what gala night is all about. And we also take you on a Sound of Music tour of Salzburg. Mm -hmm.